the basket loop stitch. Hi, I'm Kristen and welcome back to my channel, Studio Knit. This basket loop stitch knitting pattern creates a textured illusion of looping interwoven rings atop a background of vertical pillars. It's a 14 row repeat stitch. And this is not a reversible pattern because when we look at the back or the wrong side of our work, you'll see that it's not an identical design on this side. The basket loop stitch pattern and texture is shown on the front of our work, also known as the right side. It looks really complex, but it's just a simple combination of knits and pearls. As always, if you're interested in knitting this pattern, please like up this video. It really helps me out. You'll definitely need the written instructions. So I have everything totally for free on my website, Studio Knit. I will have the link in the description below. This pattern is also included in my new Knit Stitch pattern book, both in print and a digital ebook. So you'll find it down in the section 12 to 16 row repeat since it is a 14 row repeat. And you'll find it on pages 55 and 56. You'll see that you have the flat on straight needles instructions on one side and then I'm also including how to knit it in the round on circular needles. This would be a great looking hat. And if you're comfortable reading knitting charts, I also have that visually laid out for you as well. For your materials, just get any size yarn and appropriately sized knitting needles. You'll also want to have scissors and a tapestry needle on hand. So let's knit it up. To begin, we are casting on multiples of 16 stitches. So I have 16 stitches right here, and you continue knitting multiples of 16 until you have the width that you desire on your knitting needle. Now looking at row one, it's K5, P6, K5. So in between the asterisks, that means you repeat between the asterisks, those little stars. So you're knitting five stitches, and then you're bringing your yarn to the front to purl six stitches, and finishing up by knitting five stitches. You repeat this pattern for every multiple of 16 that you have cast on your needle. Now, since this is a whopping 14 rows and all we're doing is knitting and purling, I am not going to sit here and have you watch every single knit and purl. So I have the written instructions on the screen right here in the video. If you'd like to pause it and get your written instructions from the video, that totally works. And let's stop to admire our work. You can see how the first four rows in the multiple of 16 is knitting up. And let's look at it here when I have two multiples of 16, exactly how the design starts to fit together. I just started on a larger swatch as well. I'm using three repeats of the multiples of 16. And because the width is longer than most of my knitting needles, I am using a circular knitting needle and I'm just knitting it flat. Next, we have rows five, six, seven, and eight. Again, just series of knits and purls. And between those asterisks, you repeat it for each multiple of 16 on your needle. And at this point, the design is really starting to shape up. You can see that we have this little nice pearl loop forming and on top of that is a nice smooth swatch of stockinette stitch. And with two multiples of 16, this is how the design is coming together. Lastly, we have rows 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So you'll be knitting and purling on all 14 rows. And that is the end of the entire design. 
So here's our completed swatch with casting on 16 stitches and knitting up 14 rows. And then when you do multiples of 16, the pattern really fits together with those loops. And I think it's just a really visually interesting design. And let's take a look again at how it knits up when we use three repeats of our 16 stitches that we cast on. I hope you are inspired to knit up this basket loop knit stitch pattern. Thank you so much for watching. I have a lot of great knit stitch patterns you're going to love as well. And I will see you here next time. Bye.